projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Brain Tumor Classification and Segmentation using Machine Learning with CNN feature. Brain tumors, whether benign or malignant, refer to the abnormal cell growth within the brain. Timely detection is vital for effective treatment and better patient results. The recent progress in medical amazing particularly MRI and CT scans has generated the vast amount of data for analysis. Leveraging the machine learning methods, notably the CNN, has displayed the significant potential in automating the brain tumor classification and the segmentation from medical images. To this of approach, a tumor to create a CNN-based model aiming to improve diagnostic accuracy and aiding the healthcare professional and making the well-informed decision regarding the brain tumor cases. The primary objective of this project is to create a robust machine learning model based on the CNN feature especially for the brain tumor classification and the segmentation. The research has set forth specific objective to achieve this aim. Firstly, a diverse and representative data set of brain MRI scans with annotated tumor region will be collected and processed. Data pre-processing will involve noise removal, intensity standardization, and handling the class imbalance. Next of keep deep learning architecture using of CNNs will be designed to effectively extract the feature from the medical images and accurately classify the brain tumor into the different categories, distinguishing between the benign and the malignant cases. Additionally, the segmentation model will be developed to precisely delineate the tumor boundaries and the brain images, enabling the accurate localization and the assessment of the tumor size. Performance evaluation will be conducted using the various metrics like accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, and this proposed model will also be compared with the other state-of-art brain tumor classification and segmented methods to determine the effectiveness and the potential for the advancement in the field. And these are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The software requirements are Python IDEM with version of 3.7, Anaconda with version of 3.7 or Jupyter Notebook. Hardware requirements are operating system as Windows, processor of minimum Intel i3 and above, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 250 GB. And to know about the flow of the project, these are the steps we need to discuss. The first one is importing the packages. In this step, the required Python packages and libraries are imported. It includes of data manipulation, visualization, machine learning, as of Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, sklearn, Keras. And the next one is exploring the dataset. The dataset comprising of brain scan, CT scans will be annotated of tumor region is examined in this phase. The dataset structure, size, and key features are analyzed. And the third one is of image processing. Pre-processing of medical images is crucial to enhance the quality and reduce the noise. Common image processing techniques are employed such as image resizing, normalization, and dog filtering. And the next step is extracting the image to try and test using the CNN. In this stage, the dataset is divided into the training and the testing subset. The trial set is used to teach the CNN model to recognize the pattern and the feature associated with the brain tumor. And the next step is extracted values to with NumPy array. The pre-processed image and the corresponding labels are converted into the NumPy arrays. These arrays are efficient data structure for the numerical computation and widely used in the machine learning application. And the next one is data visualization. It is of Using the plot gram, bar chart, and the images are employed to gain the better understanding of the dataset distribution. And the next one is flatten and shuffle the trial and tested data. Before feeding the images into the model, they are flattened into the one dimensional array to match the input format expected by the model. The training and the testing data are shuffled to prevent the bias during the training process. And the next step is building the model. Here various machine learning models are built. The first one is KNN. KNN stands for k Sniper. It is simple and effective classification algorithm. It classifies the data point based on the majority of the class 
the KNN and the speech of space. In this project, it is used to classify the brain tumor image based on extracted feature from the KNN model of CNN model. And the next one is random forest. It is an ensemble learning method that combines the multiple decision tree to make the accurate prediction. Each tree is built on the random subset of the training data and a random subset of features. And this project, Random Forest is employed to classify the brain tumor image. It handles the high dimensional data and captures the complex relationship, making it suitable for the image classification task. And the next one is SVM. It stands for Support Victim Mission as a powerful supervised learning algorithm used for both the classification and the regression tasks. It works by finding the hyperplane that best separates the different classes in the feature space and SPM is utilized for the brain tumor classification based on the CNN features extracted from the images. And the next one is logistic regression. It is widely used classification algorithm for the binary classification task. It models the relationship between the dependent variable and the independent variable using the logistic function. In this project, it is applied to classify the brain tumor images into the classes using the features extracted from the CNN model. And the next one is Neobase. It is a probabilistic classification algorithm based on the Bayes theorem. Despite its simple assumption of the feature independence, it often performs surprisingly well in the various tasks. And this project, Neobase is used to classify the brain tumor image based on the CNN feature. It handles the high dimensional data and is computationally efficient. And the next one is XGBoost. It is an optimized and highly efficient implementation of the gradient boosting. It is widely used in the machine learning competition due to its strong predictive power. And this project, XGBoost is employed for the brain tumor classification based on the CNN feature, aiming to achieve the high accuracy and the predictive performance. And the next one is AdaBoost. It is an ensemble learning method that iteratively builds the multiple weak learners and gives more weight to the misclassified sample to improve the overall accuracy and it is used to classify the brain tumor image using the CNN feature combining the predictive power of multiple weak classifiers to enhance the performance. And the next one is decision tree. It is a simple and powerful tree-based classification algorithm partition the feature space into the segments, enabling the easy interpretation and the visualization. In this project, it is applied to classify the brain tumor image based on the CNN features. And the last one is voting classifier. It is a technique that combines the prediction of multiple individual classifiers to make the final decision. Here, it is used for combining of gradient boosting, XJ boost and the decision tree classifier. And the next one is user uploads an image for analysis. A user-friendly web interface is created using the class. A popular web framework in Python. The user can upload a brain image for the analysis through this interface. And the next one is the given input image is processed. The upload image is pre-processed in the same manner as of the dataset images to standardize it for the CNN model. And the next step is the right model is used for predicting the result. The pre-processed image is then passed through the trained CNN model for the brain tumor classification and the segmentation. The model predicts whether the tumor is benign or malignant and also delineates the tumor boundary in the image. And the last one is final outcome is displayed. The prediction and the segmentation results are displayed to the user on the web interface providing the valuable information about the brain tumor and the uploaded image. The final outcome helps the user to understand the tumor nature and the location, aiding in the making informed decision within it. And the execution of the project. To execute the project first, we need to open the code folder. And this is the code folder containing of various files within it. The sample folder containing of the images that will be used to test the performance of the model and the static folder containing of the folders like assets, images, JavaScript, CSS files within it. In the template folder containing of the HTML documents, it typically include of graph, form, index, notebook, result, sign-in, and sign-up pages within it. 
and the app is an py file which likely contain the information related to the front end logic it include the code written in python that handle the server side operation such as processing the user request interacting with the database and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the html template and the notebook is an ipynp file which contains the combination of code graph and output all in one place it allows the user to execute and write the code in individual cell making it a popular choice for the data science and the synapse.db is a file appear to be the database file used to store the user information and for the execution of the project first we need to copy this code folder path and then open the anaconda prompt here we need to write a command cd space and paste this code folder path by this it will change the content to read to the code folder path then write a command that is python space app dot py by using this command it will execute the python script and perform the runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues and then click on the enter button after running this app dot py file the flash framework will host the application locally at the default link as of like this we need to copy this link and paste it on any of the web browser of our choice and i prefer to use the google chrome here we can see the title and some information about it and then click on the sign up button here it will redirect to the sign up page containing of some details that are need to be filled to create an account my account is already created and click on the sign up button here it will redirect to the sign up page containing of username and password that are need to be filled and then click on the login button here it will redirect to the sign up page sorry index file index page containing of choose file and upload buttons click on the choose file button here it will redirect to this folder containing of images and I'm selecting one and then click on open button and then click on upload button here the brain tumor is uploaded image is segmented with as of like this and these are the counters of it and here having the tumor within it is classified and by using the try again button here we redirect it to this page containing of choose file and upload buttons here we can select another file and then click on the upload button here it having the classified as don't having the tumor in this way we can classify the tumor of the brain as all known and in conclusion a machine learning based approach for the brain tumor classification and segmentation using the cnn feature by leveraging the power of deep learning and the large medical amazing data set our proposed model achieved the promising result in accurately classifying the brain tumor and segmenting the tumor region from the brain mri scan the classification model demonstrated the high accuracy and the sensitivity enabling the reliable differentiation between the tumors The segmentation model successfully delineated the tumor boundary with the precision, providing the valuable information from the treatment planning and monitoring the disease progression. Thank you for watching video. For more projects, please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos. Please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.